In the previous video we had taken a boat to the town of Yelapa in the west side of Mexico and gone snorkeling in the refreshing water. Today was a new day that would come to be a bit of a risky adventure. Hello and welcome to another video. We are here in the town of Yelapa in the west side of Mexico. We came in here yesterday on a boat to this really incredible beach. The sun is just about to go up here over the mountain. It's such an incredible view here. I'm looking out over all the sailboats. <laughs> it was a bit hard to sleep yesterday actually because um, there were a bunch of noises crickets and frogs and uh, mosquitoes this is where we were staying it was 7 in the morning and so peaceful looking out over the pacific ocean from the apartment we were just waiting for the sun to peek through behind the mountains before we would start a long hike We were in a guest house on the beach of this tropical town with nice palm trees and blue water by the mountains. It was quite an experience just being there, looking out at the scenery. A few people were coming out on the beach and we were excited to start a long hike following the river and going into a waterfall across the mountains. So the sun has gone up now and we are almost ready to head out to the waterfall. Now we're going. We're here on this small road that you saw in the video from the other day. We were walking on the right side of the river and heading further into the mountains. It was interesting to see that horses seem to be the main form of transportation in the town. We have about an hour and 30 minutes hike to get to the destination where we are gonna be cooling off. So there are only a few hundred people living here in this town and you see these ATVs, or no, not ATV, four-wheel drive, whatever you call them, driving by. Here we have a little supermarket, so we're gonna go in and buy something here. <laughs> Buy some chips. No chips. Chips, chips, banana. Here comes another, what do you call those? ATV. ATV. Yeah. Um, yesterday we saw a lot of shit on the roads here and uh, <laughs> we saw the horses now, so that's why there's so much shit on the roads over there in town. We kept walking further up and even though it had not rained for several months, the scenery was still really incredible. Yeah. Such a peaceful little town here. And we have such incredible mountains. And we hear the roosters roosting. Here is a little horse running wild. <laughs> Now we're walking through another little town here. We can hear the music playing. It must much be it must be much nicer to live like this in just a little small community. I wonder why humans live in big cities. It's not so enjoyable. A bunch of exhaust and loud noises and cars. <laughs> comes with water for the village. We kept walking and had passed by most of the small villages. The river didn't have much water since it's the end of the dry season. There are so many horses here, look. Horse, 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 horse.
We're maybe uh, halfway through the hike now. It's starting to get a bit hot. So I'm really looking forward to making it to this waterfall. We're coming out of the villages now and uh, getting into more dry vegetation. We stopped for a water break. Yeah. <laughs> it was cold this morning. That's why I was wearing that long sleeve rash guard. And now it's hot. Now it's hot. getting hotter. We like it when it's hot. Deep frying is life. Deep frying and then cooling off. What is it called? Tadpoles? In the water we saw yeah, the early stages the of a frog. They start out like a small black dot and eventually grow four legs and start living on land instead of water. Now we've been walking for like an hour and a half. The sun is coming up and it's getting a bit more hot but hopefully we're there soon. It was not supposed to take any longer than an hour. We crossed the river and thought we should have arrived to the waterfall already. The area was really dry and we were so far away from the starting point now. We're walking through the jungle, starting to think that maybe we're lost. We saw a huge frog on the way. His life most certainly started out in the nearby river but now he was a full-grown frog. Our hike continued and I started to think that we were lost since we had crossed another mountain without seeing the waterfall. Leftover chicken breast. Chicken breast from yesterday's dinner. Don't worry, I had it in the fridge and it's only been out for about two hours. Now she had her chicken breast, and I think the waterfall is just down there. Ah. We've been walking for such a long time now. We started to lose hope a bit of finding this waterfall. But I think I might be hearing a stream of wa water over here. I have to start the drone to see if I can see where the waterfall is from above. I had started my drone to figure out where we went wrong. I flew it up and down the river and concluded that the waterfall must have been around the mountain that we had just passed. I decided to run over there to confirm my theory while Maria was waiting in the shade. It was also getting really hot and we almost had no water left. So I had to leave Maria and go looking for this waterfall because we had come so far I didn't want to turn around. I did find it over there but now I'm on my way back to Maria oh, because I was flying with my drone and I did see it in my drone shot just to confirm before we would go over there I ran over here just to make sure well, I ran over there and I found the waterfall it's way down here past a bunch of rocks and uh, way further than what we originally thought it's pretty hot and the water is almost empty. We have a long ways to go back also. I can take your bag. I'll hold it in my hand. We might have uh, taken the wrong side of the river entrance. Uh, we walked for a while across stones and rocks <laughs> but uh, the waterfall is right here now the question is if there's a way to get down here to the other side we arrived but uh, we got a problem because uh, it's a bit hard to go down here I might jump down actually we were safe now because we saw some people that had arrived from the right direction so now I put the stuff down there now I'm gonna try to get Maria she's up here we're gonna try to bring her down <laughs> All right, we're ready to descend. I can film it. You good? Oh. Wait, 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 where am I going? Okay. 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 My 
area is safe. We have arrived. It's finally time to cool off a bit. Cool off. Cool off. It was not the cleanest water, but we were so excited to jump in and cool off after our long hike. It was all worth the hike now. We came back, so nice! That was the best of this whole trip to Yelapa. Now let's head back again on the trail. Now we're hoping that the hike back is not gonna be as long as the way over here. So hopefully we can get back safely and not totally dehydrated because we don't have any more water. I was flying my drone earlier, I know uh, this road is going to take us back because I could see everything. <laughs> we just missed the bend where the river was going, so now we're coming back to the main trail. It's my prediction, <laughs> hopefully. We have a canyon right down here, really steep, and another waterfall. The sun is frying deeper than it's done in the past months, I think, weeks. So we found out where we went wrong. We went this way last time we were here, but there's like a fence with barbed wire here. So it's really easy to miss it and walk straight instead because it looks like that's the um, like, uh, way of the trail. Oh, I had to dip my head in the river over here. It was so hot. Even the horse is like eating totally dry uh, hay or whatever grass <laughs> everything is dry here but the rainy season is about to start we have been saved in the jungle garden they have water here i'm gonna stop and get some water hola, hola. Uh, una coca cola por favor oh got my coca cola nom, nom, nom. Mm. Maria had a margarita and <laughs> she's a little bit happier now. <laughs> I had my Coca Cola. It's a bit sad actually to see that the same horses have had a rope around the, their neck the whole day and they're still standing here. There's a fire over there, it's burning. See the smoke? Oh! I wish I grew up like this, way better than in the western world where uh, we just move away and then we're on our own for the rest of our life. <laughs> I think in a lot of uh, places in the world, uh, people stick together like the whole family. It's the final meal here in Yelapa, we're sitting here in the valley. Almost back to the beach, and we're gonna have some chicken fajita. Fajita de pollo. De pollo? Fajita de pollo. Y para mí el mismo. Sí, con los vegetales, sí. Vegetales. 
Only um, 100 pesos for the chicken fajita, 5 US dollars, and it's so good. I don't know how long this video is gonna go. I will not stop filming until I reach 100,000 subscribers, which is my goal, has been my goal the whole time, but it hasn't been going according to the plans. We are back to Yalapa. Finally, we're back here on the beach in Yelapa. I'm gonna jump in and cool off a bit and then we're gonna take the boat and head back home. We're back under the umbrella, protected from the sunlight. One of the best things I know in life is to be out in the sun and then going swimming in the water. It's such an incredible feeling every time. Gonna be taking the boat from the first pier here. There are two piers, one pier here on this side and the one pier on the other side where we have the town. We're getting on the boat now. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching it. We're just gonna take the bus back to Puerto Vallarta. But as always, if you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up. Post a comment and let me know what you think about it. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, please click the red subscribe button below this video so you can see where we end up going in the next video see you next time